In this video, we will look at security features with Cisco SD-WAN. Cisco introduced a full stack of security features like Enterprise Application Firewall, IPS, URL filtering, DNS security, and malware protection with SD-WAN. In this demo, we will focus on zone-based firewall policies. Zone-based firewall allows stateful inspection of TCP and UDP flows. Attached is the topology we will use for this demo. We have a couple of devices running iOS XE SD-WAN images, which are connected to two different transports. We have two segments associated to CH1 and are and both are part of the same VPN that is VPN 11. By default, without any security policy, all traffic will flow through them. What we will do in this demo is to configure a zone based firewall to block SSH between the two devices while allowing all other traffic between them. So let's begin. Let's check our existing communication. I have two PCs connected to CH1, one on each segment. This is the PC on 17.11 segment. Let's try to ping the PC on the other segment. And we can successfully ping. Let's also try to do SSH now. And we can successfully SSH as well, which we can verify with the IP address of segment 2. Now let's configure our firewall rule. Beginning from 18.4 release, you will see there is a separate security option available under configuration. Upon clicking, you will be presented with a security configuration workflow. There are a few predefined workflows like app firewall DIA that you can choose. For our demo, we will choose custom. Let's proceed. Let's add our firewall policy. Let's name our policy block SSH. Let's add our first rule. Let's match on SSH and change the action to drop. And let's also add log option to this rule. Let's also add another rule to in inspect all the rest of the traffic between the two devices. So I'll leave the match option to empty, which is match all, and then set the action to inspect. Now to apply the security policies, we associate these to a zone pair. Here we map the VPNs to the zones, and in our case, since both the devices are in the same VPN, so our source and destination zone will be same. Let's click next. If you wish to configure additional security parameters like IPS URL, etc., we can do this, but for this demo, we'll skip all that. So let's click next. Now let's assemble our policy here. Let's call it sec firewall policy. Let's preview a policy. So that's a policy which is matching on protocol SSH and action is set to drop. All other traffic is set to inspect and that's a zone which is applied to the same zone, source and destination being same. Let's save a policy. Now you can see that the policy is not attached to any device. To do that, we will need to edit the template attached to a device. So let's go to templates. Let's go to CSRV1 template. Let's go to additional templates and here we can add our secretary policy we just defined. Let's update. Let's click next. Let's quickly look at the configurations that will be pushed across to the device based on the secretary policies that we create. Let's choose config difference, see side by side. And here you can see that uh, this is the configuration that's going to push. That's the access list. That's the class maps and the policy maps. And finally, that's the zone pair association. So let's configure the devices. Configuration is done. Let's check our communications again. 
let's do a ping first the ping is still successful now let's try to do an ssh and there you can see that the ssh is failing now let's quickly go to the console of the device and here you can see that there is a log generated for the firewall will be just defined let's go back to our dashboard here uh, in the dashboard we have new widgets which describes the security features uh, here we can actually go to the firewall enforcement here we can look at the inspected uh, traffic you can actually click and get the details and upon clicking further you can see why it was actually blocked it was blocked because of the firewall policy action let's go to network let's go to a device let's go to our firewall and here again we can see that and let's go to one hour and here we can see that our security policy that got hit thus using zone based firewall we can quickly add firewall security to our branch devices that's it for this demo and thanks for watching